Hello and welcome to this learning video. So here as I said that we will be continuing with the same topic but taking different variety of problems. So we are here with the, some different problems. So let us see what this uh, problem says. So we have to solve this. Okay, nothing is there. So either this would be a problem of uh, dy by dx or dx by dy. So if it is a problem of dy by dx, we cannot separate the denominator okay and we end up with something uh, a tedious uh, thing to deal with so let us just change this the given equation is the given equation is what is it dy by dx so i will write it as dx by dy so just interchanging dx by dy would be 2y log y plus y minus x upon y. Now you just have to separate the term in the denominator. That is dx by dy is equal to when you separate this you will be getting 2 log y plus 1 minus 1 by y into x okay that is or you can write it as like dx by dy taking this to the left so this is 1 by y into x is equal to what is it this is uh, I can write this one as 1 plus 2 log y okay so this is a linear differential equation of the form in right here which is which is linear differential equation of the form of the form dx by dy plus p into y is equal to q this should be x right Okay, now if you compare this equation with the standard equation, you can see here P, P is 1 by Y and what is Q? Q is 1 plus 2 log Y, is it? Now once you get P and Q, find out the integrating factor. But before that, let me find out integration of P dy. So this is integration of P 1 by Y dy which is integration of 1 by y is log y. Simple. This. Okay. After integration, you can now write down integrating factor. So what is integrating factor? Integrating factor is e to the power integration of p dy. So this comes out to be e to the power log y. And as you all know that this integration, uh, sorry, this logarithmic and exponentiation are inverse of each other so we can write this one as y okay after getting the integrating factor after getting the integrating factor now you just need to find out the solution of the given differential equation to be precise the general solution the general solution the general solution of given equation is what is that do you remember so i want you to just pause the video for a few seconds and try to write down the solution for differential equation uh, linear differential equation of the type dx by dy plus p into x is equal to q okay so just pause the video, after writing the solution, you can resume the video. So I hope you might have written the solution. So let's uh, cross check it. So this is x into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into integrating factor into dy plus c. This implies x into what is integrating factor y is equal to integration of what is q i just uh, 
rub this uh, Q written over here. So what was Q? Do you remember? So Q was 1 plus 2 log Y D sorry into integrating factor Y dy plus C. Now what is its integration? You can just separate integration of Y dy plus 2 times integration of log y into y dy plus c. Now again you have to apply here what you have to apply <coughs> integration by parts in the second term. In the first term you can easily write integration of y is y square by 2 plus 2. Here you can apply integration by parts. So first function integration of second okay plus second function sorry minus first function integration of second minus integration of derivative of first integration of second again this term would get repeated into dy plus c solving further this is y square by 2 plus 2 into log y into y square by 2 minus this y get cancelled with this so this is 1 by 2 integration of y is y square by 2 plus c okay so my final answer is this implies x into y is equal to y square by 2 plus this 2 get cancelled with this 2 so this is log y into y square minus y square by 2 plus c okay so this is the required solution for the given problem so i hope uh, this is uh, well understood by you and uh, if you have any problem in this, so you can just ask. Now we can take one more problem, which is of the type, which is of the type number three. Okay, where you don't have uh, dy by dx or coefficient of dx by dy to be one, but it would be uh, some function or some number, anything like. Okay, so this is the final solution. Okay. If you want, you can take y square common throughout and then you can write the write down the solution again. So let me take one more problem. Solve y into e to the power y dx is equal to y cube plus 2x e to the power y dy this is the problem we have okay and we have to solve this problem so let us start with the given thing the given equation is the given equation is what is the given equation this you can write this one as dx by dy is equal to y cube plus 2x e to the power y. Now you can take this y upon e to the power y over here. Now just separate the denominator on the right hand side. So this is like dx by dy is equal to y cube upon this. So this becomes y square into e to the power minus y or if you are uh, want I can write one more step after that one y get cancelled with this plus 2x e to the power y get cancelled y okay now this can be written as uh, I can write like that is dx by dy I will take this to the left so this is minus 2 by y into x is equal to y square this can this you can take in the numerator and write it as e to the power minus y 
And what is this? This is linear, which is linear differential equation of the form. What is it? dx by dy plus p into x is equal to q. Okay, so what is p? Can you tell me what is p? Just compare this with this. So what is p? p is minus 2 by y. Student uh, in the examination generally write 2 by y. They just missed out this minus term which leads to an error in the uh, solution. Okay, so what is p? Here p is minus 2 by y. What is q? y square into e to the power minus y. Simple. So let us find out integration of p dy for integrating factor. So this is minus 2 by y dy. This is minus 2 integration of 1 by y dy. This is minus 2. 1 by y dy is log y. This can be written as log y power minus 2. Okay. By the property of logarithm. Then uh, integrating factor you can write. Integrating factor is equal to e power integration of p dy. This is uh, important to write down the formula. Don't write directly integrating factor is equal to e to the power something. Okay. So this is e to the power log of y power minus 2. Integration. Uh, sorry. Logarithm and anti log get cancelled. So you remain with y power minus 2. That is 1 by y square. So my integrating factor is equal to 1 by y square. Once you get the integrating factor, then find out the general solution. General solution to the given problem or given equation. Therefore, the general solution is, therefore, the general solution is, what is the general solution? Uh, x into integrating factor is equal to integration factor q into integrating factor dy plus some constant c. You have all these values. So, you can just substitute x into what is my integrating factor 1 by y square. So, this is x into 1 by y square is equal to integration of what is my q. This is my q y square into e to the power minus y into my integrating factor this 1 by y square dy plus c so this get cancelled with this okay and we left with integration of e to the power minus y dy plus c so you can just take the integration of that very elementary integration what is integration of e to the power minus y integration of e to the power minus y is e to the power minus y don't forget to divide the term by the coefficient of y. So this is e to the power minus y by minus 1 plus c. Okay. This implies x into 1 by y square is equal to minus e to the power y plus c. Or you can write x by y square plus e to the power minus y is equal to c. So this is the required solution to the given problem okay so i hope uh, this is uh, clear to you so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you